Japanese cuisine is depicted in its natural beauty. The food culture is cultivated by strong references to the Four Seasons and its people's appreciation for beauty. There is a book which summarizes the heart and soul of cooking techniques, the Encyclopedia of Japanese Cuisine. The book delves deep into the nature, climate, history and culture of Japan to correctly understand the cuisine and details cooking methods backed by scientific facts. Here is the summer edition. Encyclopedia of Japanese Cuisine. The summer of verdant green. The Gion Festival is held throughout Japan in summer. One of the most prominent is the Gion Festival of Yasaka Shrine in Kyoto, a registered UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. The Encyclopedia of Japanese Cuisine chronicles the festival's history. Its roots can be traced back to the year 869, when it started as a gyoryo e a ritual to appease the souls of the deceased, in order to overcome an ongoing epidemic in Kyoto. In Kyoto during the Gion Festival, people give saba sushi or mackerel sushi as gifts and enjoy a rice cake known as chigo mochi, available only during this time. The festival is also known as the Hamo Festival. Hamo are a kind of eel that favor warm waters and can be found along the coast of central to southern Japan. They are said to become tastier as they drink the rainwater of the rainy season and hold great cultural significance as a symbol of summer. A traditional hamo fishing technique is still carried out on a Waji island of Hyogo prefecture. Long line fishing consists of a long main line that has countless branch lines with hooks attached. Hamo came to be treasured in Japanese restaurants of Kyoto and Osaka as they could be transported alive during summer. However, they are full of small bones and difficult to eat. Thus evolved the bone cutting technique known as Hone Kiri. Using a special hamo knife, the chef applies just the right amount of pressure to cut the bone while leaving the skin intact. The chef's hone kiri technique is paramount to the outcome of the dish.
夏のタンパク源であるハモをおいしく食べるために丁寧に骨切りすることが大切なんです The Encyclopedia catalogs a wide array of knives and their use as cutting and slicing are crucial for the art Cutting is one of the five basic methods in Japanese cuisine. There are dozens of traditional Japanese knives, each with a special use. The Deba knife, with its pointed tip and thick blade, is especially efficient for breaking down fish and cutting bones and joints. The sashimi knife. Used to thinly slice seafood is marked by its long, slender blade. Furthermore, sashimi knives vary from region to region. The Kansai region in the west uses a pointed yanagiwa knife, whereas a takohiki knife with a uniform width is used in the Kanto region of the east. Cutting Holds such importance in the cuisine as raw foods such as sashimi are so prominent. Basic everyday dishes alone call for a dozen cutting techniques. Add in decorative cuts that illustrate seasonality and elegance, and the list is endless. Nihon Korai Kara Staru wa Bocho de Kiru to Yukotoa. 食べやすくする目的のほかに料理に芸術性を持たせることにもつながります The Encyclopedia cuts no corners in showcasing the multitude of cutting techniques Cutting along a vegetable's fibers with the Sengiri technique maximizes aroma and texture The beauty of snow white cloth can be recreated by katsuramuki. The alluring jabagiri allows for an ingredient to soak up flavors. Visual appeal is so essential that they say Japanese cuisine is eaten with one's eyes. This belief is rooted in the decorative nature of the Rinpa School of Art, founded by Ogata Korin. Dimpo works are defined by refined, delicate, yet colorful depictions of kacho fugetsu, or beauties of nature. The school's far reaching influence goes beyond just paintings and touches almost every aspect of Japanese culture, including, of course, cuisine. When soma noodles, which are often enjoyed in homes, are contrasted by vivid colors, they epitomize the appeal of summer. This grilled ayu, made to look like a swimming fish, is a perfect representation of the Dimpa school ornamentation that outshines realism. Ayu is another indispensable ingredient of summer in Japan. Ayu are also known as kogyo, meaning aromatic fish. And no better way to enjoy the delightful aroma than simply grilling with salt. The savory aroma that rises with smoke is a sure sign that summer is here. And just as the fragrant fish rang in the scorching season, the end of summer is announced with the Obon Festival, where the spirits of ancestors return home, guided by welcoming fires in front of homes. The encyclopedia touches on Obon as well. On August 16th, a farewell fire, such as the Daimonji in Kyoto, appeases the ancestors' souls and sends him off. This tradition is carried out across Japan on this day, as people quietly pray in remembrance of the deceased. 
お盆を過ぎると山のものも海のものも羽坂駅に入りますこの時期の料理として夏の名残の食材と秋の走りの食材を八寸として同じ器で盛り込むことがよくあります New Lotus Root, a vestige of summer, is shaped like a flower and stuffed with mustard and egg yolk to create ikomi hana denkon. Sweet potato is carved out in the shape of an autumn chestnut to make kuri maruju. Summer meets autumn on this single dish to help us transition to the next season. Japanese cuisine speaks to our sensibility. When the verdant trees of summer start to sway in wistful winds, it is time to welcome autumn.